One of the most spectacular events in all four of the Gospels is Jesus walking on the water in a storm and St. Peter going out to meet him on the waves. Peter walking atop the surging waves just like his teacher Jesus. Tons of action until the predictable happens. Peter looks away from Jesus and he sees the storm and he sees the wind and he sees the lightning and he sees the waves and he just can't even anymore, as the kids used to say. And Peter drops beneath the waves in danger of being drowned in the waters he's known his whole life. And he cries out at the last moment to Jesus to be saved from death. And Jesus scolds him. Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? But Jesus doesn't stand back to scold him. First, he rescues him. He reaches out the same hand that stretched out to separate the waters above from the waters below. He reaches out the same hand that he stretched out to create the whole of the universe. The same hand that was stretched out upon a rough Roman cross to be pierced for Peter's sins and for yours. And only after Peter's hand is safe in his rock-steady grip does Jesus say, Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? Too often, people think that God our Father, that our risen Lord Jesus, will let them fall over the edge before reaching out that hand to save at the last second. But no, that hand already has you in its grip. That hand wrapped around yours in your baptism. And its grip is strengthened every time you gather at the Lord's altar before the mercy seat upon which he sits in glory for you. Every time you gather to hear his read and proclaimed word, every time you open your own Bible to read that life-giving word of God, why do you doubt? Your Lord is with you each and every day in the fantastic events that happen to you and in the struggles that you can barely handle. Trust your Lord's presence for you. Your faith may seem little and tiny, but your risen Lord Jesus already has you in his grip to save you, no matter how tumultuous the storms of life may seem.